The Dutch are well known for their traditions, like wooden shoes, windmills, riding bicycles, and Gouda cheese. But their most impressive tradition of all are the Dutch hacker camps. Now, four years after hacking at random in 2009, it is time for OHM 2013. Observe, hack, make. Welcome to AUM 2013. Bloody amazing to see you all again. Let's see if this works. Well, thousands of my closest friends in a tent again, four years. After hard 2009, we gather again on grounds where once uh, the Romans lived, and we meet for the seventh time actually. Uh, it's going to be some busy days actually. Uh, there's a shitload of, of talks scheduled, it's amazing. Um, we have some important uh, uh, issues to talk about and goals uh, uh, to fulfill. I mean, four years ago, we knew about uh, Echelon, uh, the, the surveillance network, um, and basically we did nothing. Now we know about PRISM and um, our Dutch AIVD uh, willingly uh, participating in this uh, surveillance network and this in massive invasion of our privacy. I mean, secret services around the world are uh, route, routing around in our private data, um, which we happily store in the cloud, actually. They can access email at will, data mine connections in the social networks, and build massive databases trying to link it all together and find statistical terrorists. <coughs> <laughs> Too much laptops, do you know that feeling? <laughs> there we go, it'll work. I mean, what are we going to do about this? Best protection, I think, against, end to, uh, against snooping is end-to-end -end encryption. We know that. But why isn't this part of the basic plumbing of the internet yet? Um, and how come it's, it, using crypto is still very complicated? And, well, my mom and dad really can't do it. Uh, it's too complicated. Uh, it is up to us. We have to fix that. We have to write usable crypto so that everyone can encrypt their uh, communications. And there's another thing about government snooping. I mean, let me, let me ask you, um, who around here is on Twitter? <laughs> okay. Um, who's on Facebook? Uh, uh, uh. Go Google Plus, maybe? <laughs> Slightly less. <laughs> So I can go on, but I think the picture is clear. Uh, why do the wire-sniffing villains actually know uh, so much about it? It's simple, we are telling, uh, we are telling them. And yeah, I I'm on Facebook, and I ask myself why. Uh, basically, peer pressure. This is a challenge. It's peer pressure. Uh, it was actually one of my old heroes uh, who pulled me over the line. One of my examples uh, who, through hectic, influenced much of my current uh, ideology and uh, uh, worldview. Um, 
So after years of resisting, he convinced me half a year ago that it's really important that it should be on Facebook. So yeah, I went, uh, I went and uh, signed up. Um, so if it's about peer, peer pressure, I think uh, uh, thousands of my closest friends are here now. So uh, what I would propose is, uh, why don't we just quit all that nonsense altogether right now? Um, Let's cancel our Twitter account, deactivate our Facebook accounts, and stop feeding them the information. Uh, you'd rather not have them data mine. So um, none of us alone dares to quit the addiction of centralized US corporate data collecting agency. But I think this is the time. The mass of us can send out a message, enough is enough. We do not accept the unchallenged access of commercial cloud services giving to secret services anymore. So saying that, I will now try something and actually go and cancel my Twitter account. There we go. I've never done that before, so bear with me. There we go. It's probably on the settings somewhere, I guess. Let's scroll down. It's always the last option. See, deactivate my account. Deactivate. Oh, my password, sure. It will be the last time I give you my password. There we go. Is it doing it? There we go. So I hope you will all follow. I will cancel my Facebook account as well after this lecture. It's more complicated. I don't know where my password is, basically. Um, <laughs> I hope you will all follow and that uh, here and now we can create a snowball effect, uh, ridding the world of this obligatory uh, participation in the global surveillance network set up by multi multinational corporations. So from now on, if anyone wants to uh, uh, follow me, see what I'm up to, I'm on uh, Diaspora. Um, it's a federated, uh, decentralized uh, social network, which you can host yourself. Uh, I myself, uh, well, I s set up a, oh no, I have to go back to the bloody slides again. Technology, there we go. We've set up a, a, a diaspora pod, actually, pod.ohm2013.org. But of course, uh, if you want to use any other pod, there's dozens, because that's the beauty of diaspora. You can uh, uh, actually set up your own decentralized hub and not give out the information to some uh, uh, nameless, anonymous, faceless US corporation. That's who I am on Diaspora. Um, well, now that we know how to save the world from uh, surveillance, what else is in stock? I mean, the, the program is packed. I mentioned that already. Uh, just have a look at uh, the website program.ohm2013.org. It's going to be difficult to choose what talk to follow, but uh, everything is being recorded. So you can uh, check out, well, almost everything. Uh, you can check out many of the lectures afterwards. Now, I know there has been some criticism to the way things were done organizing this event. I mean, it, there's no denying it. Uh, I have an answer to that. It's a wiki. Uh, it's a wiki, so you can edit it whenever you want. It's not a nameless organization, this event. It's shaped by all of us. Uh, not long ago, us was around 50 people looking forward to uh, hard work, which we regretted by now, but... We are here. Uh, two weeks ago, we had like, uh, more like three weeks ago, 200 people really busy. And right now, it's all 3,000 of us. At any point, anyone could have become part of us and therefore shaped the event. I mean, a conference like this, it doesn't work by itself. It exists by the virtue of the people present. So by any means, if you feel like helping out, log on to badgers.ohm2013.org and sign up for a shift or two. There's lots of things to do. Uh, I uh, understand we need uh, uh, a lot more heralds, of which Arjan will be the first one to uh, take the stage and introduce the next speaker. Um, but if you go to badges.ohm.2013.org, there's lots to do. Video mixing, audio mixing, um, hey, even cleaning toilets. I mean, it's a wiki. Um, sign up for a sanitary cleaning shift and uh, make this a cleaner event. I mean. If you see an, a, a, a dirty toilet, remember, it's a wiki. You can fix that. <laughs> so, 
Now, go ahead and enjoy this temporary haven. Shape it in any way you can. Uh, enjoy some Dutch traditions. But most importantly, go out and create crypto for the masses. Thank you. And now I believe there's a little surprise. Igor, where are you? Ah. At the dawn of time, or slightly before that, our robotic overlords have identified opportunities for profit. But an epic argument about which was superior, Star Wars or Star Trek, has erupted, <laughs> resulting in several eons of sulking. This cosmic amount of butthurt has forced the three prime forces of the universe, the observe, the hack, and the make to separate in a violent cosmic event. Throughout the ages, these separate forces swirled chaotically, and the universe lacked balance and a sense of direction. But all is about to change, as a motley band of adventurous hackers named Om Orha sets forth on their pink plastic steeds out to unify these three forces and restore the balance of the universe. We, the steel gnomes of the Spark Shack, have heard of this epic endeavor and wish to bestow a gift on the Fellowship of Ohm. Please, dreaded leader of the Ohm Orcha, or whoever else is available, the volunteers of the Spark Shack bid you to come to the stage. And now you're all shy. Just come yes. on the stage. People. Come on, Orga. Fellowship of the Ohm. Where are you? <laughs> Whoever's available, come on, come on. I know you're busy, but come on. You work for us. We have observed the peril situation, analyzed the plans in progress. We ran some simulations, fudged the data, argued about it, and then had some mate. We identified many, many potential journeys, many potential dangers in your journey. To aid your quest, we have hacked ancient farm machinery, heavy metals, multi-component polymers, space age fibers, and some really nice paint on a bed of coal, glowing red hot like the Xbox Ring of Death, we have harnessed the power of oxidation, invoked the spirits of Volt, Ohm, and Ampere, and added some decorative touches to make you a mighty artifact. We have come from our humble spark shack, 
all the way from the edge of Mordor, on the F field, just past the bar, across the little bridge, on the left, <laughs> across the treacherous ditch filled with crocodiles and vicious mosquitoes, through the deep, deep fiber forest of the field of Tiv. We humbly present you this potent artifact, that it may help you unify the observe, the hack and the make, by banishing trolls, losers, and broken equipment during your quest. We present you the, the Ohm Banhammer of Lartification. May, may it aid your noble quest. May its magic light guide you and may you never stub your toes on it shouting, who the fuck left this thing here? <laughs> In the case the magic runs out, please use this complimentary USB cable to recharge it again. Please tick the checkbox confirming that you have read the safety instructions. Thank you. Thank you, so, thank you so much. That was a nice performance. Um, I think we will clear the stage now. And um, Arjen, you are already on the stage. Give the microphone to Arjen, who will uh, start off the very awesome program. Thank you.